Hello guys, welcome to Box with Coaching. Today I'm joined with Sam Ingerton, former British champion, looking to go on to big things, hopefully win a world title. Um, how you doing Sam, you right, mate? Good pal, yeah. Yeah, good. So Sam, um, first of all I'd like to ask you, like I ask everyone, like, obviously what's, what started you into boxing? Um, my old brothers. Yeah. We all, we all went to the gym. My yeah. oldest brother didn't box at all. Yeah. My brother below him had about 12 fights. Yeah. And I had a few. Yeah. As an amateur. And then we all quit as teenagers. Yeah. Obviously, everyone gets better things to do. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, you know, I just sort of went back on a whim at about 15. Yeah. And just went from there, really. I mean, how did you find the amateur boxing? Like, how many fights did you have? I mean, you um, to be fair, uh, my amateur record wasn't too bad, I don't think. I wasn't an amateur fighter, though, to be fair. Um, yeah. I just had something like 30, 31, and I'd lost something like 9. Okay, not bad. Um, but yeah, it worked, worked really for me. I mean, three I rounds. I remember like you coming to the gym when I first ever started boxing. I think it was my first week in the boxing gym. Um, Dan Sodil, and you came as a kid and you spied a, another top kid as a, I think he was a youth then, yeah. the junior, Sam Plum, and you've always been that same savage from yeah. day to day. Come forward, and if I don't get you, it, it's very hard to get you in three rounds, I think. 100%. I think so. The amateur thing just weren't my. So, but to be fair, I, I didn't have no. I want to sound like a div now, but I didn't have no clue about the amateurs. I didn't yeah. know about yeah. winning the Midlands West. I didn't know about winning the National West. I didn't know about DB squad. Yeah. I didn't know about any of that. It was just why so much you, to why do. Why do you think people... Because not just yourself. There's a few boxers that do. They don't really want to train that hard for amateurs. Is it because there's no reward for them at the end? There's no money involved or there's nothing you think... There's no motivation? I think, I think you're the amateurs, you know, unless you're... Unless you're already on the squad, yeah. I mean, say if I was an amateur now and I went out and beat the middleweight yeah. who's going to the Olympics, yeah. that's not going to automatically put me on the squad. No. So I'd really sit there now and think, well, oh, what's the point? So you're not going to have to beat the top kid. Yeah. It's done nothing for me. No. Um, I'm back in the ABAs next year. Yeah, yeah. And that's why people are just turning over so early. If you're not on the squad, okay. I don't want to tell the young kids, but if you're not on the squad, it's a very pointless thing to be doing. 100%. So what made the professional transition of what made you turn pro? Again, yeah, I fell into that as well. Um, I, I, I had my son at 17, I was, I'd quit boxing for about a year. Yeah. Had a job, got made redundant. Yeah. I heard about this journeyman stuff. Yeah. Um, Craig Cunningham, yeah, used to Craig. go to the same gym. Yeah. Heard he went professional. <laughs> I used to bang Craig, but I should have gotten that to me, but he's just a bash um, <laughs> Heard he went professional, and I rang him and I said, look, um, can I come up to your gym and see if you coach, yeah. trainer will put me on, yeah. on the road, journeyman stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it's gone from there, really. Yeah. And basically, Craig and yourself, two top lads. I mean, Craig, Craig, uh, you know, stopped Anthony Agogo, who yeah. was that lad that was on the GB yeah, squad yeah. and yeah. stuff, do you know what I mean? Just proves that it's, it's amateurs and everything. But, I mean, so far, I mean, you've done very well as a professional. And I think, in my opinion, the reason why you've done well as a professional, because you just, a lot of people have pressure on them. Yeah. But I don't think you had that much pressure, that much, oh, Sam's going to be the next yeah. big thing straight away, and you just... Do you know what it is, yeah? It, it, it's, it's exactly that, like, boxing... Uh, boxing is not my be and end all. Mm. If you give me another job now, yeah. which you give me the same job, yeah. I'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I don't want to be punched in the head for a living. No, you know, no, who no. does? No, but, you know, people that want to box, and they want to go and fight in big arenas, like a box at the old 2 Yeah. That could crumble most people just because they really wanted to do it and they really want to yeah, show up and, yeah, and turn yeah. up and do a good job. Yeah. For me, it was a it was another day at work. I turned up, I boxed at the O2 on a pay per view card. Um, an hour an hour out the ring. I was back on the motorway home and home. It was just a day at work and I, and and it was done. Um, and that's what I think that's what kills people. A lot of people just love it so much that when they get there, yeah. they really have to perform. Whereas for me, I got there and it was like. Let's get this job done and let's go home. Yeah, interesting. I remember when he's in there, um, you boxing at Aston Villa Brown, and uh, Barry Hearn comes down. I remember he was asking you, like, you just like normal, you just like get it done. Some yeah. Fight. You, you, some fight, you see him tense, or yeah. you, know, you can tell they're feeling a bit nervous, but you're not nervous. You just go in there, you're there to do a job, and the better man's going to win. Yeah, and, and that's, that's simple it is. as that. Yeah, that's I mean? what it is. I, I like, 
it, it's, 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 you got you got you got to look at it in that sense. It's a job. As long as everyone comes out safe, obviously you want to go home. It, it's a job, and you got to get it done. And the, I've got it, like, I always say you can't stress the inevitable. Mm. The fact is, is that you are boxing when it, like, you got a date. You are boxing. Yeah. The only way you can not box is pull out. Yeah. If you're not going to pull out, what's the I, point? I, I that's like, that's not to ask you, man. Like, how do you control those? So I know there's a lot of boxes out there. There's a lot of kids. They're not like you, Sam. They're not. They, they, they have to get nervous, so they think I'm fine. Yeah. Like and they get tensed up. How do you control the nerves? How do you control it? It's hard to say, really. I don't. I just yeah. don't get me wrong. I get nervous. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just like I'm boxing tomorrow. Yeah, I get yeah, nervous. Yeah. I'm never scared, but I'm nervous. You know, obviously everyone's nervous of losing in general. Yeah. But I'm never scared of of of, of boxing or yeah. or fighting. Yeah. Like I say, you can't stress the inevitable. There's no point in sitting here all day today worrying about something that's going to happen tomorrow. If it's going to happen, it's going to be, it's going to be what it's going to be. Just do your best to make the best of it and that's yeah. what boxing is. 100%. You are going to fight, you yeah. train for eight weeks to make the best of it and, yeah. and that's and that's what it is. So, in terms of your biggest fight today, what fight would you say that's been the best victory for you? <laughs> There's been quite a few, you know. Obviously, I've, got, I've won a few titles and, and I've boxed on the pay-per-view, man and RG, you know, he's, yeah. everyone knows him, but yeah. I don't think you can beat the, um, the local derby. That's all I was going to say. You can't beat the local That's derbies. Say. Sorry about that, Frank, but you know he's Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like... Uh, yeah, you can't beat it, was, it was just... That's a big one, that is. That's like, that's like something you don't want to lose, because if you lose that, it's like... You're going to see those... Bragging rights, literally. Yeah, you've got yeah. those same faces. Yeah. That you see, like, if you bought someone from, you know, the other side of the world, or used to bought someone, if you're in Manchester, you ain't gonna see them faces yeah, yeah. every day, but here you see the face every day. It's true, man. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Ain't your lucky day that day, Frank? <laughs> so joking. But, see, uh, the, the, the arena was <laughs> split in half. It was, it was a mad. The whole build up to it, you know, it got a bit, it got a bit um, touchy on both sides, I think. Yeah, it did. Um, but yeah, it was, it was the savage moment. turned up. That turned up. Turned, turned out. out. <laughs> That's what I love. I mean, look at Frankie. Was a, you know, he's one of the best amateurs, yeah. the best amateur in the country. They done stuff that no other amateurs done. I think yeah, this country yeah, with the worlds and stuff. And he went to turn pro. And you, if you'd had to look to on paper, you think he'd be the one that's going to go and win the world's yeah. titles and stuff like. Which Frank Warren did. He was going to be the better one at the Gale and um, Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, yeah. But look, it just proves because of your heart and determination, and everything. It's not all about skill. You can learn. And like you know, you beat him and you stop. It's him. another cliche, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And hard you, work beat talent when um, talent doesn't work hard, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. But you know, like, this is thing. This is thing. You have actually genuine talent. I don't know that is. Look, I watch so many boxing on TV before I box. Oh, he's all right, man. I could take that guy. I could take him, <laughs> but you know, but it's not. I mean, I sparred you. I think I did like I sparred you once ever like, like uh, me and another like like called Brandon. But I did like a couple of rounds with you, and I was thinking, okay, he's just gonna come forward tough lad, you know, keeping the end of the jab, but it weren't the case, mate, you do other stuff there, I remember I was on the roll to my hands up and you tried to drop my, my hand down there and drop a left yeah, yeah. cheeky fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> little, but, little tricks in the train. <laughs> but you know what it is, that's what you say, like, it's not just hard work that you have, it's you have talent and uh, true boxing experts and fans you wouldn't, wouldn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean? It's the little things that, that people that don't know boxing don't see. You know, a lot of people will see me box on TV and think he puts his hand up, he comes forward, and he has a, he has a scrap. A scrap yeah. um, and a lot of people who box think that. That's why people say, "Yeah, I'll, I'll fight Sam." And when it when it comes down to it, it's never as simple as you just said. You know, yeah. hands up. Yeah. It comes down to scrap. It's not that simple. No, not. I do things that, you know, like you say, boxing people will only see. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's come well so if far. That's the okay. case, George, George Foreman. Oh, he just put his hands up come yeah. forward. Them fighters put their hands up come forward. Why they've gone down as an all-time greats, one of yeah. one of the all-time greats, because it's special what they do. You know, you can box like May and they do special stuff, but you can box with your hands up like Alvarez does and certain boxes they do special. Yeah. So it's about how your style is, because you can box like your May with us. You box like Sam Higgins. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, and that's, and that's the that's best. It. And that's where people go wrong as well. People try and copy people. Yeah. If I tried to copy May, but I'd be flat out most yeah, bars. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, it's yeah, not going to work out for me. There's so. a lot of kids out there that I've seen that who try to copy, especially in the 
they think that because Nassim Hamid was the yeah, biggest yeah, thing, yeah. there's a lot of them that try boxing like Nassim Hamid, but you can't because you can't be born with the reflex that it has and the power that he has. Cause yeah, you can't knock you out, out overnight, man. You can't you knock you out any hand. So that's obviously with like yourself, your Sam Miggerton. But in terms of what fight put you up there, because you didn't start with the matching show no. fight, Sam Miggerton, amateur next. How, what what fight put you out there? Um, I think I've done the prize fighters, didn't I? Yeah. And the second prize fight, I, I won in two prize fighters. I lost in the first round against the eleven. Yeah. And the second prize fight, I won the first round. And I felt like I got a daddy decision against Johnny Coyle. Yeah. And so did everyone else. Yeah. So everyone else thought yeah. I'd won as well. Yeah. yeah. And um, Barry Hearn coming to the backstage said, Look, I didn't know Barry Hearn at this point. Yeah. It's just a random, I just thought. Yeah. And he said, Look, we'll get you on another show. Yeah. That was a bad decision. And I just kind of nodded and I thought, He's probably going into every dressing room same and saying the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And then a few weeks later, they rang up yeah. and I had a six round on a, on a big Manchester bill. Yeah. And then I won that. And then they give me the dent of a South White and it's a oh, British yeah, yeah, total eliminator. Yeah, yeah. And that's where it kind of blew up from there. Because he was the next like kind of Mike Tyson style yeah, was aggressive yeah. guy. Because yeah. I remember like I was when I was boxing ahead of him, like he was the next like, kind of He was just huge man. Huge and and if you if you look both together you'd be like, yo, he's the When you look back at the way in here, yeah. honestly it's yeah. unreal, you know. <laughs> I look like a ten year old boy. <laughs> Just standing there, yeah, yeah, your yeah. man's there, just ripped, <laughs> carved out of granite. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't imagine it, nah. would you? So it just proves that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's one that blew it off, um, British title eliminator. So talk about the Ted Cheeseman fight then, because I just obviously watched that. And my personal opinion, I thought we had him. But, you know, we yeah, was one for days. Um, but because after that fight, because when he got the team, he was like, don't move it, don't move it. Yeah, you know what it is, yeah. I, I just think, yeah, like I've said before, can't do nothing right, you know. Yeah. Like, I go out and have all that war, yeah. win, lose or draw. People, people moan anyway. You know, he goes out, he has a fight, he gets hit too much. I go out, I try and do a bit of boxing. Yeah. I never get the credit anyway. People just think, people just presume that I'm not having a war, that yeah. I'm not winning rounds just because I'm not going out and having an all-out slugfest. Yeah. So it, it's hard. Like, where do you go from there? Like, <laughs> you can't win. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I thought I won the fight. I thought I won. I thought I'd beat him better than Scott Fitzgerald beat him for minus. Hundred percent. Um But yet again, maybe if you won on a points decision against Vassal or you went to points, maybe they'd give Vassal the, the decision. Yeah. Maybe because you've been knocking them out, they've had no choice but to give you the fight. Yeah, this is, this is it, like, and it's it's a shame really because in the, the day he's got a skill, you know, you know the fans know he's a bit of boxing, you, sh you should you should be given the fair decision because People don't understand it's not the fight that's the hardest bit, it's the rounds and the rounds and the training that you've been yeah, doing. Before and after the, the fight. Uh, yeah, exactly. So the last thing I want is to be getting cheated on points or whatever. It was a close fight, but you can even the, the points margin they gave you yeah, is yeah. ridiculous, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean like I say it, it was it was a hard pill to swallow at the time. Yeah. Um, You're the savage mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to get it back. I mean, he's yeah. priced himself out at the moment, but yeah. um, I don't see where else he goes. If you don't get that fight, what fight can we see you in possibly in the future? I'm just, like I say, I don't, I'm not, I can't wait around for anyone. I never have, you know, win, lose or draw. Um, so I'm just, I'm waiting for opportunities. You know, I've got opportunities on, you know, I've had loads of people contact for um, fights, you know. I've got a fight lined up and it's been pushed back a few weeks, but you know, yeah. hope for a title on that one as well. So I'm not, I'm not waiting around, but I'm always here for the rematch. We've had it. Hundred percent. How old are you at the moment, Sam? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So you're still, you're not, you're not, you still not. You not even hit your prime. You not even hit your prime yet. I'm just getting into it now. I'm just, yeah. just starting to. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's good. So obviously that's one fight I'd love to see against Cheeseman. I think that's what. I think if if I had to pick a fight, I think that'd be it. So I'm finished business there, Cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been there, I've been on social media, I've been everything, I've been yeah, pushing it. Yeah. Eddie Earn seems to think he wants too much money. If Eddie yeah. Earn can't pay you then yeah. you're asking for too much money. He's a nice lad, Ted, but even even though like, it's not just about that, you know, you want to get your wrench back. That was a wicked fight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Especially with the pandemic with the coronavirus yeah. that was in. That fight know what? was class. Again, I'm with Ted, you know, we deserve more money than we got last time. Hundred percent. But yeah, we don't deserve millions of pounds. I don't know what he's asking for. Uh, but 
if Eddie Hearn's saying you're asking for too much dough, then you're probably asking for too much money, do you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's asking for too much money because maybe he's not, himself out. Prize himself out. And maybe he's it. not confident that he's thinking, you know what? That was a tough fight. Because obviously we've just gone into another lockdown, so are you looking to fight? Uh, I'm looking to fight before Christmas without a doubt. Um, I saw a thing on the internet the other day about big time sports staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But without the crowd, so yeah, yeah. there's I mean, no reason why boxing shouldn't be allowed to carry on. Exactly, but the good thing is you're saying taking over, so yeah. you've still got the. Uh, Still, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Still fit. Not gonna take away eating the lunch. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just yet. I'm resisting the urge. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I was in this same ring when I was 12 stones. Now I'm a fat fuck down. 16 stones. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a body bag. That's not even a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Jab. Jab. Step out. Jab. Beautiful. One, two. Let's go back. Jab. Jab. Slip to the side. Left foot to the body. Yeah. So, boom. Yeah. Step in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jab. Let's go. What I've cut that. Again. 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 Roll. Roll. As you roll, I throw a left foot to the body. Nice, it's still quick, man. <laughs> still Do you know strong. what? It's a lovely light that he said. Huh? You don't even know you got 16 eyes. They don't feel good, do they? Nah. I put 14 eyes once, but they fell out 10 eyes. So I had to reorder the 16 yeah, yeah. ones. Because yeah, it's all so light. Nice, and you know what? You get a few looks right now when you go to different gyms. Yeah. They do look small. But I'll tell you what it is. A lot of people watch you fight, yeah? And they think, oh. Well, it's just come from a bit. Yeah, yeah. They don't understand how smart your combinations are, how smart your work is. Yeah. Until, I, I, until you're in there, it's totally different, man. Yeah, I did totally try different. everything for a reason. Obviously, I mean, don't get me wrong, I get carried away sometimes. But a lot of things for a reason. I'm always cutting the ring off. Yeah. I'm making your space smaller. You know, yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm always yeah. being taught that. I'm always yeah, yeah. trying to do that. I'm going to put you on the ropes. Yeah. Yeah, I just, That's yeah. It. I, have, I have combinations that. I just think he's got you on the ropes, fight or run. <laughs> run catch, catch, catch. Fight or flight. Yeah, but what's, what do, what's the future? I mean, in your way category now, I mean, is there anyone specifically that you think, you know what, I'd love that actually fight? Because the fans might love that fight or? I think the rematch with Ted. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. really, I, I just, yeah. I think I was hard done by. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, I don't think I went in there and won 12 rounds. Okay. Uh, I definitely won two or three of the first six. Yeah, 100%. And four or five of the last six. Yeah. And if you give me the least of either of them, yeah. I'm still one by round. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So Probably. if I won three of the first six and five of the last, you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still up. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Totally um, agree. I mean, um, so what I'm going to do now, I've done it with Steve. I dare do it with Shaq because they're flat. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, joking, Shaq's all low. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm going to do now, is I want you to like, just for like about, I think I do it's 20 seconds with Steve. For 20 seconds, I want you to bang this as hard as you can. And if you stop me, 
then uh, saw you have video after this. <laughs> okay, yeah, so go. One, two, <laughs> two, two, Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, keep an eye on our videos, thank you.